I was like, wow, I just have so much ahead of me. Like my whole life's ahead of me. Um, this is what I, this is my first step that I'm taking to my, towards my future, towards what I want to do with my life. It was just so exhilarating. So my name is Tralia Ely. Um, I am from Franklin, Virginia. I went to Southampton High School. And while in high school, I did dual enrollment with Paul D. Camp Community College. And now I'm currently a student at Old Dominion University. My high school experience was overall good. I was definitely really involved as much as possible. I kind of felt like I had to be um, just to kind of get as much out of high school as possible. I knew I wanted to go to college, but I was a little um, concerned with like how everything would look with me having a disability and being visually impaired and things like that. I didn't really have any other friends or knew of anybody personally that, you know, had a disability or even had a disability and was attending college until I was part of the I'm Determined program. I went to the first summit and I saw all of the youth leaders with disabilities and people like me and participants. And I kind of feel like that's what made me feel like I could, I could do it too. In my college search process, when I was calling admissions and asking you know, questions, I also made sure to call their, um, here it's the Office of Educational Accessibility. I know every college has one, it might have a different name, but I did make sure to call their disability services department um, and see what it would look like if I did you know, choose to go here, what accommodations were and things like that. So I would call and say, hi, you know, my name is Trillia. I have a disability, I'm visually impaired, I'm planning on attending your university, so what can you guys do for me? And I kind of left it open-ended like that if um, in the beginning because I didn't really know what to ask. And you know, they would tell me what accommodations they offer and things like that. I called a lot of colleges kind of just to see what their kind of customer service was like because I'm a big people person and I wanted to go somewhere where I liked the vibe of the college. I wanted it to feel friendly. I also, you know, made lists of what I looked for. So um, I did not want community bathrooms. That was something that I didn't realize to consider, but I'm glad I did. Also, you know, like how big the campus was. I didn't want a campus that was too big. I didn't want one that was too far from home. So it's kind of just critiquing those little things um, to make sure they fit my preferences. Once I figured out, you know, all those little details, I then went, was like, okay, which colleges have these things? So instead of making me fit the college, I did it in a way that made sure the college was the best fit for me. So I applied for a bunch of scholarships. I also used a lot of the connections that I have with the, the Department for Blind and Visually Impaired and other kind of resources that I found. And there was a point where I realized, you know, once I got back my, um, that I received the scholarship, once I got back all of my funding and things like that, I realized, oh my God, I could actually go to college now. Like I'm gonna be able to pay for it. And that was probably the moment that solidified everything for me. I really took to ODU and just the Monarch pride and just how, how fun and like a family the campus felt. Next thing I knew, I was accepting my financial award letter. I wholeheartedly believed in myself and believed in my choices and I had a support system that did that as well. So it made it a little bit easier when I finalized those decisions that I you know, had a strong backing and I wasn't you know, um, wavering on, oh, did I make the right decision or not? The first thing that I did once I knew for sure I was going to ODU is I bought a whole bunch of stuff <laughs> for my dorm. I bought a whole bunch of decorations and a mini fridge and a whole lot of stuff. I also kept touring <laughs> the college. So I probably toured it maybe one or two more times, either in person or virtually during that summer before I moved in, just so I could feel more comfortable being on campus and knowing where things were. I've also met a few individuals with disabilities on campus. I feel like what they all have in common is me knowing what my possibilities are and that the sky is truly the limit because there's nothing that, you know, somebody with disability um, can't do that somebody that doesn't have one can, you know. And there was a point in time where 
I thought me having a disability or the type of disability I have would stop me from fulfilling those roles and doing those type of things, but not anymore. The moments that have been priceless to me and like my small little victories um, are honestly moments that I feel like most people would uh, take for granted, but one in particular, probably when last semester, I wanted to go get ramen. And I had gone there once with a group of friends, but I had never gone anywhere by myself outside of the confines of like the main campus. So I was a little scared and nervous because I was gonna be crossing the street. I used my Google Maps and I got there and just the exhilaration and being feeling so proud in myself, like this is something that I didn't really think I was gonna be able to do. And it's probably one of the most, um, memorable moments that I have are most amazing that I can think of. I'm really kind of curious as to what is in store for my future and like what all that holds for me just because I know that I've come so far from where I was. I know where I belong and I'm in the place where I belong here at ODU or just being in college in general. It's, it's, it's where I want to be. <laughs>